Oh, we will get here from Android and Tech.com, and in this week's weekly app review, we're gonna kick things off with Elastic World. Um, Elastic World is where you have like this bouncy ball, um, and everything is elastic. And you have to try. Uh, let me show you. So we're just gonna load up to say the first level, and then you have the balls that bounce. And as you touch the object, it kind of kind of flexes and bounces the ball. And you just have to try and hit the star there. So you just have to try time it right. So let's see if we can get this one up. Just about. There we go. We got that one. So that's what you have to do in each level. And obviously, as you progress, it does get harder. They do throw like um, different obstacles for you to get around. So we're just gonna jump straight into level six, and we're gonna show you that. So for example, this one, you tap, and you have to just keep making your way across. And you can see it can be a little, little bit difficult. I mean, if you time it wrong, you can bounce it backwards or it could fall through one of the gaps or something like that. So um, it's a really good game. Um, play if you have a lot of time. It can get a little bit frustrating if you don't get it, um, if you don't time it just right. So you just have to try get the star in every round. So if you can bounce it up. Yep, we've got the star. And at the end, it shows you your time, how much moves you've done, and it gives you your score with a little trophy saying excellent. And yeah, that's just a quick look at Elastic World. There's a bunch of different levels to play through. Um, you can see there's 10 levels in this one. And if you go back, you've got more levels that you can play through. Um, you can pick this one up free from Google Play. This application we're taking a look at is 100 Floors. 100 Floors is an application where there's literally 100 floors and there's puzzles on each of the floors and you have to try um, solve the puzzle to progress into the next floor. So we're just going to start things off at level 1. You can see. First one's pretty simple, you press it, it opens it up and you move on to the next level. The second one, and you have to move this cannon, you see this here, and then you could use this, put it there, open up, and you're going to the next floor. Third one up, you have to shake it to open it, and you're on to the next floor. These are just the basic ones telling you kind of like what you need to do. This one you need to open it like that, and move on to the next floor. But it does get very difficult as you progress. This one you have to kind of flick it. Um, this one gets a little bit difficult. You kind of need to tap on these and try to figure out um, what you need to do next. Like this one, you can move it and press that one and you go up like that. There's levels like this that just really get hard. Um, as you progress, you can see you press this button to open it, but you can't tap on it. You need to keep it open. So all you need to do is kind of like use the accelerometer to flick the rock across to the little switch and keep it open, then you go to the next floor. But it does get a little bit harder and I've got stuck on one of the levels, so... Um, it does it does take a lot of time to get to level 100 and to actually beat the game but this is still a very great game if you've got some time on your hands or if you really want to um, really good at solving puzzles definitely go check this one out it's free from google play the next application we're taking a look at is dungeon hunter 3 um this game is kind of like a game when you're playing as a warrior and you just have to try to fight your way through waves of enemies and just try and kill them you do have um weapons like swords um, axes and you know stuff like that and you could also go to the store buy armor up upgrades and better armor and um, so you can see we've got wave one you've got these enemies um, this is your basic attack you got the other one there that's highlighted in uh, red that's like your other special attack when you're getting overrun by enemies or you have you're going up against a strong enemy you can just press that let me see if i could do that right now and show you I keep it in frame so you just go around the graphics are very nice as well it runs very smoothly and um, the, the joysticks right here are very easy to use let's get these out and when you're running low on health you could press your um, potion up there to give you more health and yeah you just have to try to fight your way through um, all these waves of enemies um, on the very last wave you do get like a little boss that's a lot stronger and you have to get through so you know it is a challenge and the great thing about it is you could upgrade your weapons and you know get stronger as you progress and collect money and all of that stuff and you could also make purchases so if you wanted like better armor you could um, actually use raw money and upgrade it and yeah this is just a quick look at dungeon hunter 3 and um, this is free from the google play definitely go check this out um very nice graphics and very good gameplay the next application we're taking a look at is sky v um this is an application very similar to siri it does the same thing um but this application is actually really good and really fast so you've got a mic down there where you just tap that and say your command or what you want to know speak to it and yeah let's test this out what's the weather in london today so i'm just doing Items basic for london today 
cloudy, temperature 63 degrees Fahrenheit or 17 Celsius, wind, W at 22 MPH, humidity, 59%. And you can see how um, it says it and how everything's laid out, it's got little pictures, it tells you everything for today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the great thing about this is really fast when you compare it to other um, similar applications out there that does the same thing that's really slow sometimes you could be waiting seconds and seconds for it to like, load up this one's almost instant it recognizes your voice processes it and gives you the answer almost straight away that's one of the things I really do like about it and you could also do stuff like um, find the nearest petrol station in New York Houston service LLC so it was straight away it will start to search for petrol stations anywhere in the world and you could do other commands as well you could um, call people you could send people text messages through the voice command and all of this good stuff and it's got this um, um, car hands-free mode that you could do which is very nice very nice features very um, fully featured uh, application if you're looking for a great Siri alternative or very nice um, speech um, application definitely go check this out it's very good um, this is the free version and it has um, ads up there. You can remove the ads. You've got settings as well. Definitely go pick this one up from Google Play. The last application we're taking a look at is Swift Key 3 keyboard. Um, this is what the keyboard uh, looks like. Uh, you can see it's very nice, evenly spaced out. The space between um, each of the keyboards are much better than the standard keyboard. So we're just going to test it. We're going to type. And you can see as you type in, it has the auto correction. So if you make a mistake like I did there, you just type in the correct word and it um, automatically does it for you very nice feature I find the keyboard very easy to use and also if you click here you can see the buttons the numerical um, buttons are laid out like a keypad so it's much easier to um, type it comes much more natural when you're typing with the keys as opposed to having a cross straight at the top and if you another feature I wanted to show you if you want if you like made a mistake with the whole word and you want to delete it you could just swipe swipe across and it kind of deletes the whole word you can see how easy it is so very easy to delete a whole word instead of tapping or holding here um, just some of the one of the features that they've added um, we're just going to jump straight into the settings we're going to take a look at what kind of customizations you have because this is English um, you do have other languages that you could go and you could download you can see all the different languages here you got Dutch, Spanish, French uh, all of these different languages. Hopefully your language is there so it does support a wide variety of different languages. And um, we've got the personalization settings so you could also change it depending on how you type. So if you type fast or slow you could change that. Um, there's also themes you could um, enable there. Right now I've got the Halo 1 Halo theme. you got the Cobalt theme. you got the Dark theme. you got the Light theme. you got the Neo, Pumpkin. So you, know, you could change it up to whichever one you prefer go back and you also got the advanced settings and you could also choose if you want haptic feedback you could set how much haptic feedback you want so I've have it about 21 22 because that's just about right and yeah this is just go back this is just a quick look at this keyboard the um, Swift key 3 um, big improvement over Swift key 2 it's, it's a lot easier to use and much uh, better than your standard keyboard and a much better alternative definitely go check this one out um, this is paid but right now I think it's on sale so if you like the keyboard and you really you know frustrated with the keyboard or you want it easier to um, keyboard to use definitely go check the site it's worth the money um, this is on Google Play and the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is a live wallpaper so we're just going to get that loaded up the live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is a live wallpaper so this wallpaper um, it's a bit different from a standard wallpaper um, this is actually playing like a video in the background but as a wallpaper and the great thing about this is it doesn't slow down your phone at all or drain a lot of battery or anything like that and it runs very very smooth so we're just going to set this one obviously there's different um, ones you could choose from you can see how it is and how fast and responsive it is it doesn't slow it down at all you can see the fishes and, and the wallpaper itself is uh, pretty high quality don't know if you could see it there but definitely go check this out it should work on most phones I don't think it's compatible with every single phone or any low end phones but it should be compatible with most Android uh, phones and if you go back into the settings you could also choose from a bunch of different ones so if you don't like the fish ones there's more that you could choose from and download you have drops you got beach pool uh, you got the coral reef that's the one I just showed you tropical island uh, let's try the tropical island and see how that looks straight away it starts to download and then once it finishes download um, you just start using it straight away 
so just gonna wait for that to finish up you can see what it looks like wow the quality does look nice definitely try this out for yourself especially if you have like a high resolution phone you could really see the detail and it just looks really good so we're just gonna apply it and you can see what it looks like you can see like the trees waving and everything and this is actually remember this is actually a video player and it's really good quality video and it doesn't slow down or drain the battery or anything like that so definitely go check this one out it's free from uh, google play and yeah and that's about it for the app review um don't forget to leave your comments below tell me what you think also recommend me some more applications for the next video and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos and thanks for watching